Ich bin auch schon zu verlangen. Aber wir wollen auch die Fischer Kassen mit dem Rücken. Aber ich sage mal noch okay. And if you have any issues, don't hesitate to get in touch. If you don't get me, I usually come back in about an hour. Sure. Of course, thank you so much. She's here. You'll need to sign here too, Roger. Okay. Hello, dear. Do you have any questions? Well, I have my own room. Yeah. So, I suppose we should show, show you around a little bit. Kitchen's through that way. Feel free to take anything you want, whenever you want. I'll be making us a nice meal later on. Kind of a celebration. How does that sound? Yes, that sounds wonderful, darling. Right, Em? Ellie. Who's that? That's our daughter, Emma. She was 14 in this. We'd just come back from one of her football games. She adored football. I should invest in a shoe rack or something. Nice garden though. Yeah, we try not to use it too much when the weather's bad. It can be really dangerous down on the bank when it's wet. I'll just throw them in the cupboard later. We know it's not how you will decorate it, but over the next few weeks you can make some changes. I'll just go out to the car and get your stuff, if that's okay. Get yourself a little bit more settled. Make it a bit more you. Are you enjoying your dinner? very much. I'm not hungry. This is entirely your decision, but um, we still have all of her football gear up in the attic. So if you wanted to take up football, rather than leaving everything up there to gather dust. Football's not really my forte. So what are you interested in, kiddo? You must have a hobby. Not really. Well, certainly not sports. Was your daughter any good? Oh yes, the best. What happened to her? We already told you. We lost her. She ran away. She packed up and left. We had some argument over something ridiculous. The police came. And they tried to find her. There were search parties out there for months. She just vanished. So you gave up searching for her just like that? Because of a fight. No. No, we never gave up. There isn't a day goes by 
Well, you don't wonder what it would be like to have her back. Well, she's not dead, right? They never found a body, which means she could turn up someday. She's probably somewhere out there. I think you should leave now. Can you go to your room, please? Just say. No! I won't ask twice! Our daughter is only 16 years of age. She's sweet and she's kind. If you've seen her, if you have any information as to where she is, please, please ring the police helpline. No matter how insignificant you think something is, please, please just call the police. My wife and I are very, very appreciative of the help we've, we've already had. But we're devastated by this. We just want our angel back. Emma, if you're watching this, if you can see this, please know that we love you. <laughs> we want, want you home. <laughs> Perhaps not. Good morning, darling. Would you like some tea? Where are my clothes? I sat them on your bed. No. I mean, my actual clothes. I'm not wearing any of this shit. I looked in my drawers and they're not there. Where'd you put them? The clothes on your bed are new and perfectly respectable. There's nothing wrong with those clothes. There's nothing wrong with my clothes. Speaking of which, where are they? Darling, no amount of detergent would have saved those rags. I don't fucking care. They were my clothes and you had no right to get rid of them. Who in their right mind would replace someone's clothes when they're in the shower? I don't get you. Look, at least take me with you next time when you want to pick out clothes, all right? What's going on in here then? Nothing. Don't! I just thought it would be sweet, all right? Well, you took it a step too far, didn't you, Kathy? They're just clothes. Just nice new clothes. Can't I treat my own daughter? Foster daughter. Do you not realise how obvious that came across as? It was beyond stupid and you know it. Don't call me stupid, you ridiculous bastard. I see what you're doing every day going down to the river. What is it? Guilty conscience? and then you leave those bloody boots lying all over the place. What's the difference between what you're doing and what I'm doing, huh? Dressing hair in clothes like that does not help anyone. If anything, it causes more harm. Do you understand?
not about to pop out for a walk if you want to come. I'm going to read this chapter. I might go down to the river in a bit though. Yeah, sure. It'll only be ten minutes or so. Don't go down the river today though. It's kind of wet. It's dangerous down at the bank. I'll take you down someday when it's drier. Okay? Right, darling. Let's go. told not to go down there. We welcome you into our home and you disrespect us like this! Mr. River! What were you thinking? She clearly wasn't thinking at all. Didn't I tell you? Didn't I say before we left, don't go down by the river? It's no big deal No all. big deal! I don't know what system you use to gauge things, Ellie, but in this house you bloody well do as you're told. I told you before we went, you do not go down there. And what did you do as soon as we left? You disobeyed us. Look, you could have slipped or gotten hurt. Don't ever go down there again, do you understand? Fine, fine, whatever. Can I go to my room? Go! It's a crime novel. What kind of crime? It's only fiction. I like fiction. I'm sorry about going down to the river, by the way. It's all right. We were just worried about you getting into trouble down there. Well, I didn't find any trouble. But I did find this necklace. It must have been down there a while. Oh, it's lovely. Roger? Look what Ellie has. What? Around her neck. Look. I assume it was washed up by the river. I might clean it and keep it. Where? Where was it? Why does it matter? Give it to me, now. Why is just a stupid locket? Give it to him now. Why do you want it? Does it belong to you? I won't ask you a second time. Give that to me now, Ellie. Why? Let me keep it. See if I care. <laughs> 